I can finally start focusing on prepping for WeCon. I will be having a 15% off everything in my shop. Hello, welcome back to another studio vlog. I hope that you're doing well today. In this first section of the vlog, I'm working on the Pinot Club goodies. I decided to make a cute little fortune cookie that is three inches and three little strips of post-it notes. I think they're called annotation tabs. I'm not exactly sure. They're two inches wide and 0.75 inches tall and i've been wanting to do these little strips of stationery for a while now but i haven't really had a reason to do it but since i had drawn the fortune cookie as the extra sticker like i just kept thinking about it and i finally decided to do it so i made three little cute designs two of them are a lot more simple and the third one is a little bit more decorative or decorative why did I say decorative? The other one has more stuff on it, but I put a little white layer on top so you can actually write on it and see what you wrote. The not so fun part though was that I decided to make it all sticky notes. And if you've ever made handmade DIY sticky notes, you know that that takes a very, 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 very long time to do. <laughs> so you have this craft, Restickable glue stick that you can use by Elmer's, and you just glue where you want it to be sticky or tacky, and then you put them on top of each other one by one by one. And I decided to make all of them like that. In total, there are 11 sheets of the fortune cookies, and there are 14 of each strip. So, in total, there are 53 pieces of stationery for each set and this time around i had to make three so that was a lot of gluing i literally took the whole day to work on these and thankfully i had started earlier than what i usually do to make these because i was able to make them before it got too late so i was able to chill out with my husband for a little bit and just enjoy the evening this is probably the last time i'm doing all the set being sticky notes so I hope that my Pandora Club patrons will enjoy that. After packing the Patreon Happy Mail, I finally started on some prep for WeCon. If you haven't watched some of my previous studio vlogs and you happen to be watching this one, I will be vending at a one-day anime convention called WeCon that is happening November 18th. Because it was getting late, I wanted to do something that wouldn't be too difficult to do, so I decided to work on my mystery boxes. 
If you follow me on Instagram or if you look at my YouTube community posts, I posted about some last chance items that you can get in my Etsy shop. Those items have been removed from my shop and they are now in these mystery boxes. The main thing about these boxes was that I wanted to make sure that they only had one holiday themed item whether it be Halloween or Christmas and I also didn't know how many boxes I would have honestly at this point I didn't even know I was going to use boxes everything that I have considered be great throughout the year I have been saving up I decided to go through it to see if I wanted to use any of it. I had quite a bit of die cut stickers in there. A lot of these items are older items I've had for a year or two that I would like to find a new home for. In the end, I got a total of seven of them and I decided that I would do four items per box. There would be one be great item and there would be one holiday themed item. For the majority of the mystery boxes, the be great item is the die cut sticker do you have one that is the big green lanyard hopefully this will have some interest at WeCon. i'm planning to sell them for 15 dollars, so that's a really good deal considering how much these items originally are putting mystery boxes together is a lot of fun it doesn't take a lot of thinking it takes some thinking but it's not like really hard thinking labor so yeah i'm just finally excited to finally get into the swing of comp prep. It's Thursday, November 9th, and I can finally start focusing on prepping for WeCon. My husband says that it's become a meme now because for a while now i've been saying that after i finished patreon rewards i could start prepping for week on and i guess over the past few weeks i've been saying that constantly to him i packed up patreon goodies yesterday so the first that happy mail will be sent this weekend i prepared some mystery boxes for the convention i prepared a sticker to put on the front of the boxes that has all the information so i need to print that and finish the mystery boxes i also know that i need to print and cut more of the a stroll in the forest sticker set and I need to cut some gingerbread man sticker sheets. I haven't had any of those printed and cut. The gingerbread man set of stickers and gift tags are probably one of my favorite sets. So it'd be nice to just have them in case anyone is interested in them. We're gonna start off with that and then I'll figure the other stuff out as we go. So yeah, let's get started. Here is how the mystery boxes look like to have this sticker with all the information about what's inside. I decided to wrap this ribbon around it to give it a little bit of color because it's just a plain white box. And when someone buys this, they can take this edge of the ribbon that's hanging out. It'll rip the sticker, but it'll go all the way around and then you can open the sides. I've had these white boxes for forever and these ribbons as well so i'm glad i was able to use it i ran out of this purple ribbon so i have two boxes with this creamy white colored ribbon i'm glad i'm getting to use some things that i don't normally use and i think it'd be a fun way to do the mixture box Thank you. 
It's Friday, November 10th, and I had just now wrote down a few things that I would have to do for a week on, and I feel like it's not going to be too much. I don't even know if I'll have a lot to film with the setup next week. Watch it be a lot more work than I thought it would be. <laughs> Some things that I still need to do is probably make a few new signs. I also need to make some buttons maybe. I'm thinking of not making more of the fan art buttons because I eventually do want to phase it out completely. So the buttons is maybe and maybe not because it's mostly fan art buttons. I also have to tie the ribbon on the new Christmas gift tags. And if there's some extra time, I will probably work on trying to make my display look better like make it look more fun and artsy but i'm not exactly sure i want to but i don't even know what i want to do for that this weekend my husband and i are going to set up the setup in the kitchen and we're going to take all my goodies and we're going to try to figure it out and hopefully it won't be too hard i thought i would just use the setup that i used for cosplay imagineer that i did a few months ago but seeing how like i need to add the patreon vault stuff and some other things i don't think that setup is going to work not only that i'm thinking about possibly doing a if you buy 15 dollars or more you get a free art print I am not selling art prints at the moment, but I think that would be a cool way to give them out and let people choose the art print that they want. I have a few fan art pieces and I have some original pieces. I have given out goodies before if people bought something for me, but I never really advertised it. But this time I think I'll try it. I did it on a Doshikon, so if you bought something for me on a Doshikon, there's a high chance that you probably got something from me unless I forgot to ask you or if it ran out then I apologize. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also want to mention that from November 19th to the 27th, I will be having a 15% off everything in my shop. The week of Black Friday is the only time I usually have a sale in my Etsy shop. So if there's anything you've been eyeing or you've been wanting to get, that will be a good time to get it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!